The number today I'd like to talk to you about is, is 69. And it turns out uh, to be uh, an important number for this little pocket calculator. Well, in order to explain this, I need to tell you something about factorial numbers. I, I'm going to just start off by explaining what the symbol factorial n is, where n is an integer, uh, e.g. 1, 2, 3, 4, any, any integer like that. Well, it's n with an exclamation mark after it, and it's got a special meaning in mathematics. It doesn't mean n shouted out loud. It's just got a special symbol in mathematics. Now, factorial 1 is, is trivial. 1 is just, one factorial is just itself. But factorial 2, well, that's pretty uninteresting as well. It's just 1 times 2, and that's equal to 2. And factorial 3 is equal to 1 times 2 times 3, uh, which is equal to 6. And factorial 4 is 1 times 2 times 3 times 4, uh, which is equal to uh, 24. Now, uh, if we go to factorial 5, that's about as far as I can go without having to write things down and work out easily in my head, now that's equal to 120. So these numbers increase quite quickly. So it's fun just to uh, work out factorial 20, and I can do that by continuing this process, but it's much easier to get out my pocket calculator. So let's do 20. So there's 20 going in. And now I notice, to get the factorial, there it is, it's x with an exclamation mark in, and that's in yellow, so I've got to press the shift key, and then I press the key, 20 factorial, all ready to go, so now I put equals, and this comes out to be 2.432902008, and that was the important bit, times 10 to the 18. So this is now really quite large number. That number is much, much bigger than the number of stars in our galaxy, and a bit smaller than uh, the number of stars in the observable universe. Now, 69, if we work out factorial 69, it turns out that this is the largest number, factorial number, that I can calculate on my little pocket calculator here, 69. And then we do shift. And, and what do I get for that? I get 1.71122424. And that's when I calculate the stop times 10 to the 98. Now, you can see we're getting quite close to this big number of 10 to 100 here, and it turns out that that is the largest number I can, factorial number I can compute on my calculator. If I go to the next number, factorial 70, which of course is just factorial 69 times 70, so I'll put in and then try to work out the factorial. What do I get? So I get error, which means is the numbers become too big for my calculator to... Now, factorial numbers are interesting in themselves, but for us physicists, they really are very important in statistics and in statistical physics. These things crop up in very beautiful ways and lead to uh, all sorts of exotic things like the properties of electrons uh, and even the properties of the, those other sorts of particles, bosons. Uh, but that's a bit of another story.